everybody happy new year i want to wish you guys a very happy new year um it's the beginning of 2012 and i hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season with your families um today i wanted to bring you guys a video according to products that rock and products that suck according to me anyway um I want to start off with nails. I want to make this a quick video because I also want to get to some more videos. Um, today's my recording day before I have to head to work. So, okay, let's get started. The first products I want to start off with are some nail products. Um, I don't have any nail polish on my nails, so I can't really tell you exactly um, how these products work. Um, I can't show you how they work, rather. But um, I got my nails done, um, I got the acrylic nails and they kind of ruined my nails so I'm kind of letting my nails breathe and get back into their normal state which is probably going to take a long time. So I went to Forever 21 and I got these nail polishes, um, they're extremely pigmented, they work very well and I don't know I just I really like, I like the way they glide on me, I guess I could show you. They're called Love and Beauty. I got the purple one. And then I got blue. That's just the name of the colors, anyway. Um, see how pigmented they are? I don't have to put four or five swipes until I get the actual color. It just glides right on, which is really nice. Um, and as for the blue, let me show you the blue. The blue is also very beautiful. I like the blue as well. And oftentimes I don't like to wear really weird colors like blue and greens and I usually stay with classy colors, pinks and reds and um, sometimes browns um, to match my skin tone. But see there's those two colors. So they, they're very pigmented and they're very beautiful colors and I like Forever 21's nail polishes. And they're only $2. Yeah, $2.80. Okay. The next thing, um, I went to Bath and Body Works and I bought a bunch of things from, <clears throat> excuse me, from there too. I want to start off with these. Um, these are actually only a dollar fifty, but right now they have a deal going on, like an after Christmas sale. Like if you buy, um, if you get five of them for five dollars or something. Anyway, um, they're hand sanitizers, a little mini hand sanitizers, and they come with a little pouch. I could not find my pouch for like. The life of me I could not find it so um, I'll just show you what I got I got the um, euca eucalyptus mint I got the Caribbean escape the aqua blossom and the island nectar and they're all very um, I guess citrusy color or uh, citrusy colors citrusy scents and I don't know they work really well I got another one that was I just got one holiday scent which was um like a vanilla cookie or something but they work really well and they're really handy they're really convenient I just hang it in my purse and that's probably where it is actually anyway yeah next thing I got from Bath and Body Works um, so this product sucked I didn't like it at all um, to be honest with you the last products that I showed you, those hand sanitizers, really rocked and so did the nail polishes. But this product, just it didn't work for me. It's the, um, the Hand Eye Back White Citrus Antibacterial Moisturizing Hand Lotion. I, this product, it's very, it smells good. It smells very good. That's actually why I got it. But it, it's very watery. It's not more of a cream it's, or a lotion. It's more of like a hand sanitizer. And I guess that's why there's antibacterial like um, hand sanitizer inside of it. But it's just, it's a very, it's very watery. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't penetrate well into the skin. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it because it made my hands feel greasy right after. And I like a lotion that sets into the skin and really works for me. But this one, it didn't work for me at all. I, I don't like it at all. So anyway, um, it might work for you. You might like the, the light feeling of it, but I, I need something more heavy, especially now in the winter time. My hands just get very dry. So I need something a little bit more heavier as a cream base more than a... Um, watery base so that product did not work for me the next product that really rocked that I love more than my favorite scent of all time I have to be the last girl in the world to own the YSL the young sexy lovely 
I have seen everybody use this. I've heard so much about it and I never took the time to actually smell it or try it on. So I went to Perfume Town right before Christmas time and they were having a big sale on their perfumes and I saw it and it reminded me I need to, I need to smell that. And I smelled it and the guy gave me a really good deal on it. And it smells really good. I love it so much. It's very young, like it says in the title, of course, but it's very young and clean smelling. It doesn't smell heavy. It doesn't smell too musky. Um, it doesn't smell too citrusy. It's kind of a light scent with musk, citrus, everything all together. And it's, I don't know, it's become my favorite scent. So if you guys want, um, if you ladies want a perfect scent for you, Young, this YSL will work perfect. Young, sexy, lovely. And I could not pronounce the, the name of the maker of it. So, and plus the name is on the box and I kind of disposed of the box. So, but anyway, that rocked. Um, next product, um, I'm gonna start with the face products. This is a Revlon Photo Ready. It's um, blush, bronzer, and highlighter all in one. It's like a three in one thing. I did not like it at all. It sucked. The reason being, um, I would dip the brush inside of the the bronzer or the highlighter or the brush or the blush. Sorry, and it just it didn't pigment. It's not pigmented. I could not see it on my face. The highlighter was just I had to put a bunch of strokes in order for me to actually see anything. The bronzer it just didn't bronze the way I liked the way I personally like it to. Um, the blush also didn't show. It says that it's a peach color and it looks peach from the actual um, inside of the packet, but on your face, it just it didn't show anything. Any color peach, it didn't really show. Um, I heard that the, the foundation and the concealers work very well for the Revlon Photo Ready. I have not tried those yet, but I really want to. Um, so this is just so far the Photo Ready, the Revlon hasn't started well with me um now, now on to lips this is a product that really worked very well for me it is the um Rimmel London Moisture Renew this one is mauve and I love it they don't they don't smell too good of course but it's it's a very let's see if I could do a swatch on my hand and it's just it's not very it's very pigmented and it's very someone's at the door sorry about that so now um continuing on with this moisture and you lip gloss um it works extremely well i don't know if i even showed you the swatch before i was interrupted but it it doesn't look pigmented but it glides really nicely over a lipstick and the lipstick that i've been using recently with it is the revlon pearl i believe and it works extremely well over a nice lipstick um so that product rocked and then i have this this product rocked as well very pigmented nyx lipsticks are extremely pigmented um you only need to dab them on like touch them onto your lips you don't need to and there it goes you don't need to glide them on but this one is i can't even pronounce that Eight, uh, Herodes. It's a very, I don't want to say it's more of a brownish orange color. It looks like that. And you see how this moisture renewal, it would go actually perfect over this NYX lipstick. Very pigmented, love it, absolutely love it. Um, I have a bunch of different. Um, colors of the NYX lipsticks and all of them have worked really well. There's only one that I don't think worked well and that's I think because it did not match my skin tone. Um, next, eyes. Okay, I don't know how to describe these but they're the Revlon Cream Shadows. They, one of them ro rocked and one of them sucked. I think it's just the colors. Um, this one, it's in Copper Canyon. I did not like it. It just was not very pigmented. The um, whitish color on it looked came out like a um, it highlighted green I don't I don't know how to explain that but yeah anyway they're not very pigmented I tried to use them as a base cream eyeshadow and it did not work out very well um, 
so this one did not work out for me it may work out for you because of your skin tone or maybe because of the way you put on your makeup but as a base cream eyeshadow even just alone it did not work well and they creased really, really easily that's the bad part about these products the next one is the khaki suede the revlon cream shadows and they work this one worked extremely well for me i love this forest green color i loved this dark um chocolate brown and there's like this light aqua green i guess you could call that it you can't really see it really well with my camera and then we have this light um it's like a creme brulee color very beautiful this one worked very well maybe it's just because these are darker colors and they match my skin better than the other palette next this product um sucked it didn't work very well it really it they're not i tried it once maybe it's just like a, once again i think that half these products have to do with my skin tone um it's this revlon color stay eyeshadow palette and this one is steel impressions and um the white works very well as a highlighting color i'll tell you that the gray works very well as a smoky eye um color this greenish color did not work very well it's not very pigmented out of all of these four the green one was the worst and this one just i mean it didn't want to blend it's just it didn't it's not very pigmented i had to put a lot on in order to see it so do not go for those colors the next thing that i want to say that rocked um according to eye makeup is my sephora moon shadow palette i got this a long time ago and i didn't really use it up until like now um it has several colors in it that work very nicely hey you could see me okay and my favorites are the darker colors like this bottom row right here just because I use them for a smoky eye rather than like the brown that I'm wearing today is this brown right here and it's called deep brown but very good it's $28 I believe at Sephora that may just have been a sale but anyway it rocked well anyway that's all my products that I want to show you guys today um, the products that rocked and the products that suck um, this isn't according to everybody, it's just according to me and how I feel about the product and how I worked with it. Um, it may work for you. So if you guys use any of these products and you saw the products that I said suck and they rock for you, tell me why and tell me how you're using them differently than I did. And um, I don't know. Well, anyway, we'll see you in my next video. Bye!